reports that the voting is divided for Elon Musk's roughly $50 billion pay package that was rejected by the Delaware judge. Joining us, Mike Willis, CEO at One Fund. Uh, Mike, welcome back to the show. The last time you were here, you guys were talking uh, some of the Bitcoin related stuff, but today uh, we're talking a little Elon real quick. So you guys are voting, you have voting shares. Tell me how it matters to you. Yeah, we think Elon Musk fulfilled his side of the pay package. We think he substantially increased the value of Tesla as stipulated by his pay package. We believe that 100% performance uh, driven pay packages are a good thing, not a bad thing. And, and so uh, we wanted to weigh in on this. And in particular, because Tesla stock is 55% owned by retail investors. And that's a, that's a good thing because we want to, the bigger issue here, the bigger conversation here is we believe shareholder voting is part of the investment process. So we were the first index fund, S&P 500 index fund to allow shareholders to weigh in on how they wanted to vote their shares. So in this particular situation, we want to take advantage of the fact that this was a high pro pro profile case. Most of the time, investors don't vote eight to 12 percent typically. Mm -hmm. And so we want to try to increase the uh, the voter awareness on this and, and see if we can get that percentage up to 30, 40 or 50 percent this time around for tomorrow. So tell us about that process, uh, uh, how the one fund works with the, the owners or the, the participants and how the vote goes through you. Did you work with a proxy firm? Or were you just kind of organizing this on your own grassroots? Yeah, Iconic is uh, the company that we have a strategic partnership with. You register your shares there with a free account. Um, they have a way to set up a custom profile for you because frankly, voting your shares is tedious. It's difficult and a lot of people find it boring. So if you can set up a custom profile on the Iconic network, or you can set up, you can grab a skin, you know, that votes with management or that votes environmental friendly or that votes uh, shareholder friendly. So there's different ways you can, you can set something up ahead of time to vote your shares the way you want them voted. Okay. So uh, what do you think uh, if you had to, I mean, number one, are we going to find out tomorrow for sure? Number two, is it uh, you made clear which side you're on? You want them to get the package? You want people to vote in favor? Do you think it's actually going to go down that way? You know, right now, I would say it's tipped the other way because the institutional votes that have weighed in so far have come in against the package. But this is a retail driven. Remember, retail investors uh, approved this package the first time around. And, um, you know, one of the things that, that Jack Bogle brought out was due to the popularity of index funds, BlackRock, State Street and Vanguard, they have effective voting control over all the largest publicly traded companies on the S&P 500. So Tesla stock just happens to be one of those. It's 55 percent investor owned, uh, retail investor owned. So mm. this is a chance for our retail investors to stand mm. up and let their voice be heard. We're encouraging it either way. Um, we're not going to try to influence that, but we want to see that uh, we want them to know how we voted and, and then we want them to vote their shares the way they think they should vote them. But um, we're just excited to try to push that percentage from eight to 12 percent, maybe up to 50 percent participation on the retail side. And, and, and maybe that could flip the vote. Just real quick, any idea how those numbers have added up for your constituents so far? What percent or how many? Well, we're voting them all, 100% uh, of them with management on okay. this. And then uh, the ones that come through Iconic, um, they have been in favor of the Elon package, but I don't have the percentages for you yet. That we can, we can uh, Iconic can give us those numbers tomorrow. All right. Uh, appreciate the reminder and the insight and how you guys are thinking about it. Uh, it could be a very interesting day tomorrow. Thanks for your time, Mike. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Oliver. Bye.